Welcome back to Good Day State Line. September is a Sickle Cell Awareness Month. Leslie is here tonight from the Red Cross. You're going to tell us all about the importance of this disease and what we can do, you know, the outsiders can do to kind of help. How are you? Absolutely. I'm great. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming in. Kicking off the month, right? It's September 1st and it's Sickle Cell Awareness Month. So why don't we start with, tell us about Sickle Cell Disease. <laughs> So sickle cell is one of the um, most common uh, genetic blood disorders in the United States. Okay. Um, and it affects African American folks in a real um, impactful way. Um, and it ha is very painful for individuals okay. and there are other complications that come with it. So what is like the actual, like what's the issue? What does it mean if you have sickle cell? So it really is a blood disorder. Okay. And so what it does to your blood cells is it actually hardens your blood cells. So the flow is not what a normal person would have in terms sure. of their white blood cells. So during September, we want to bring awareness to this. Um, we want to probably bring awareness on multiple levels, right? We want people who perhaps have this and don't know to kind of get more information. And then we want to, we can, the rest of us can help. Absolutely. So um, I want to tell folks that every two seconds, someone in the country needs blood. Okay. Every two seconds. So the, the need for blood is great. During the month of September, we really want to focus on the need for African Americans to be donors to, to donate because what we find is that one in three African Americans who are donors are a match for someone who has sickle cell disease. Okay. And uh, an individual who is affected by sickle cell can sometimes in a year need up to 100 transfusions. So it's, it's really important that we um, collect blood for them. So you do have to match the blood? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that means you need as, as much as possible, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So I know this kind of is a little silly, but it's actually like Be Lazy Week on our show this week. And I was thinking, giving blood kind of fits. I mean, it's not lazy in the act that you're doing is awesome, but like physically giving blood kind of works for Be Lazy Week. Absolutely. <laughs> so you're kind of laying back, giving blood. Yeah. Um, and you're really not, it's, it really doesn't take a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. You're just um, turning your arm over and having someone collect the blood. But what it does is it actually saves a life. Which is crazy. So it's simple. It's really yeah. simple to do. And it, you can save a life and then also, you know, the blood is able to sit on the shelf for a little while, right? So it's, it doesn't need to be an immediate use. Um, you guys can stack up in September, hopefully. And yes. then, you know, the rest of the months when people are in snowstorms and don't have time Abs to drive over. Absolutely. And the, uh, the American Red Cross is uh, the leading supplier of blood, blood uh, in the country. So it's really important that we collect blood throughout the, the entire year. But in, in this month, we're really highlighting yeah. sickle cell. Which is good. And I mean, just in general, General too, I feel like it's good for people to think, okay, in September I'm going to donate blood because otherwise they may not have put it on their calendar and people have a lot of busy summers and time to get back into a routine and donate blood, which you can do how often can you donate blood? Uh, so every... I would actually have someone have you call in to <laughs> okay. redcrossblood.org uh, to ask an individual about the last time that you donated. Okay. Uh, and they can give you your eligibility and okay. when it's time for you to donate again. Mm -hmm. That's good. Somebody keeping up to date for you so you you know, you don't have to remember yourself. Um, so what are other things that the American Red Cross is doing this month just to raise awareness for sickle cell disease? So one is that we're really partnering with organizations um, such as the Divine Nine or 100 Black Men or other organizations that really cater to African Americans um, to ask them to help us set up blood drives and you can sign up for it to give blood throughout uh, Illinois. Mm -hmm. It's very simple to do. You can put in your zip code or you can go to redcrossblood.org uh, to find out the, the nearest blood drive near you. That's awesome and I don't know if you know but the best part about giving blood is the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. There are snacks yeah, and right. juice immediately following it's your blood best. donation. I always it is laugh. The best. After I give blood, you know, they'll ask what you want. I'm like, why is it always apple juice? Like, I must have apple juice. I don't <laughs> you know like what It's so good. I never buy it on my own. You like apple juice. Other individuals like cranberry juice <laughs> yeah. between the pretzels and the cookies, you know. You got it great. all. All right. Where can we get more information? Redcrossblood.org. Feel free to go online and look that up. Um, and even you can call in as well and talk to an individual about your eligibility. Okay. And the next time you can give, but we really uh, appreciate anyone giving blood. But if you can't give blood, then um, talk to it about your, to other folks to, sure. to sign up to give blood. Um, we really would appreciate that. Well, we'll figure that out. Thank you so much for coming in, Leslie. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back with Throwback Thursday.